Here's the solution to homework set number four for ECE 321. Now, before we start, I'm going to show you what we wind up at the end of this homework. I want to build a subwoofer. So I'm going to take some audio signal, run it through a low pass filter, drive a speaker, and here's what that sounds like. Now the first problem is come up with an analog computer to implement the following transfer function. The trick here is take the system, cross multiply, gives you s cubed y, solve for the highest derivative, um, then integrate three times. So these are three integrators. Um, s cubed is 5s squared plus 10s plus 30, actually minus. And then the output is x times 10 plus 2 times the derivative of x. So there's the analog computer. The circuit that we're going to use has negative gains, so we need to play with the signs to make them all negative. And here's one way to do that. What I try to do is make the gains negative in every loop. So this should be minus 5. That's OK. This loop right here is a triple negative, so I had to add that minus 1. This loop has three terms, still negative. For the feed forward gain, the gains are all positive. So going to this path, I've got one, two, three, four inversions. One, two, three, four. I've got to add those two inverters. So here's the analog computer diagram. That's the same thing, but with negative gains. These are integrators. That's an amplifier. So the circuit is, here's the three integrators. There's the inverting amplifier. The gains are one over RC. So here's the circuit that implements that third order differential equation. Problem two looks at with a Butterworth filter. Um, come up with the requirements for your filter. I chose a low pass filter for a subwoofer, block frequencies below 250 hertz, pass frequencies above 500. And I'm going to define pass to mean the gain is between 0.9 and 1.1 out to 250 hertz. Beyond 500 hertz, I want the gain to be less than 0.2. Come up with a filter that does that. Well, I'm going to guess a third order Chebyshev. You can calculate the gain. It's as I go from 250 to 500, I need the gain to be less than 0.2. Solve for n, I get n n is bigger than 2.32. So third order should work. So let's pick a third order Chebyshev filter. This has a corner at 1 rating per second. In MATLAB, there's my poles with a corner at 1. I'm going to guess. Let's put the corner at 1600 ratings per second. I'll then calculate the gain um, where the poles are scaled by A, 1600. Make the DC gain 1 and then plot gain versus frequency, and then put x's at the points. So here at 250 hertz, the gain should be, put, be between 0.9 and 1, and it is. And at 500, it's less than 0.2. And where the gain, where this number comes from is just trial and error. Keep playing with it until it's slide left and right. If I can't do it, I need a better filter, higher order Chebyshev rather than Butterworth, or more poles. Uh, here at third order Chebyshev, meets the requirements. So to build it, I want to have this filter. Um, da -da -da -da. The first stage is an RC filter, corner at 1275. So one of RC is 1275. The second stage, corner is at 1815. So there's C, there's R, solve. This is 1815. To get the angle, 3 minus K is 2 times the cosine of the angle. K is 2.3, 130K. So there's my Chebyshev filter. I can check that in Circuit Lab, plot the gain versus frequency, and it's fairly flat, goes out to 250 and drops off. The two points I care about is at 250, 
the gain is bigger than 0 0.9 at 500, gain is less than 0.2 times the DC gain. That should meet the requirements. Now let's build it. So here's the circuit that implements it. This just gives me the plus 9 volts, 0 volts. Here's the voltage divider, gives you 4.5 volts. That's my rail. My signal, my AC signal, is going to be writing between 9 volts and 0 volts with a 4.5 volt offset. So there's my 4.5 volt offset that acts as circuit ground. Here's my third order Chebyshev filter that then drives my 386 uh, speaker driver. In addition, I used a computer that has earth ground rather than my laptop. To separate earth ground, I added an RC low pass filter. So this goes 4.5 volts. This is 0.1 meg. This is correction 0.1 microfarad, 0.1 meg. That is a high pass filter cornered at 100 radians per second or 16 hertz. Um, that'll block the DC level, change it back to 4.5 volt offset. That then drives my filter. That then drives the speaker. Uh, using onlinetonegenerator.com, you know, what else would it be called? I can input a sine wave and measure the filter output at all these different frequencies, plot it relative to the DC gain, and the blue line is what I should have, the red line is what I do have. So apparently something's wrong. Didn't notice this until after I plotted the data. What's wrong is this guy right here. That is this capacitor. That's supposed to go to the feedback. If I tie it to ground, those are three real poles. Tied to the feedback, I get the complex poles. That shows up in my data. This guy right here, instead of going to ground, it should go to my output. By tying it to ground, I now have real poles, and I get this response. So this is with real poles. This is with the complex poles. And I should have fixed that, but I didn't, so my filter's not quite right. That's my data. Uh, to see what it sounds like, we'll do a quick demo.